All right, next one, number 11. This one is, uh, let's see, a delta secondary. So we have our transformer right here, primary, secondary. Secondary is wound as a delta. That's feeding a three-phase Y-resistive load. And let's start off with our given values. So given values look like we have 2,400 on the phase. So we'll start off with that, guys. That's step number one. Given value at 2,400 volts on the phase. Okay, and what does that give us? Well, we know that uh, on a delta, the phase and the line values are identical. So that gives us 2,400 volts on the line, right? So that would be the voltage between here and here, which is essentially the same as this guy to this guy. Okay, so our step two is that we know that V line is equal to V phase for the delta. So that's equal to 2,400 volts on the line. Okay, that is feeding this guy, so this is 2400 volts applied to the Y resistive load. Okay, and now we need to find uh, the phase voltage here. So these are some pretty random voltages that I must have grabbed from somebody, others, somebody else's examples, um, but let's work with them. So we got 2400, we need to divide that by root three in order to find our phase voltage. So we're gonna take our 2400 volts on the line, we're gonna divide it by root three, and that's going to give us our phase voltage. Let's bring up the calculator. So 2400 uh, divide, divided by root 3. And that gives us 1385.64. Okay, and that's going to be our voltage on the phase. So ni not nice, clean voltages like we had on the first eight. We've got some random voltages that I must have grabbed from somebody else's examples, but we'll work with it. Okay, so that is now our phase voltage, uh, and we're now on to our current. So we need to find our phase current here, so that was step three. Step four is to find our phase current, and we've said many times before that this is just Ohm's law. So we have 1385.64 volts on the phase, and that is applied across this 300 ohm resistor and once we divide those guys, then we'll get the current on the inside of the Y there. So we'll find our I phase. So let's try 1385.64. We're going to divide by 300. And that gives us 4.618. Now, if you're wondering about rounding there, because there was another eight, it was actually 4.6188. Uh, in our class, we just do three decimal places, and we forget the rest. We don't round up, we don't round down. Um, it's good enough for Canada, 4.618, three decimal places, and most of us have the same answers uh, going through. So using three, three decimal places, um, most of the class has a center of the same value as I have on the board, uh, and that kind of reduces any mutiny that's going on in the class. All right, so now we have 4.618 amps on the phase. So that is this guy right here. Okay, and we found that right up here. Uh, and we know next that our I line is equal to our I phase. So step five is that these guys are identical. So that means that this current on the outside is also gonna be 4.618 amps on the line. That is being fed from the secondary of the transformer, like we've said numerous times before. So step five is we can also bring this guy across. Okay, uh, and then we have to find the current on the inside of the delta here. So the current on the inside is gonna be less. We're gonna to have to take our 4.618 amps on the line. And we're gonna to have to divide by root three. Okay, so Let's see, we've got, let's clear all that out, 4.618, uh, we're gonna divide by the square root of three, and that gives us 2.666. Okay, excellent. So that takes care of all of our currents, that dropped that guy in here, 2.666. Okay, and then when the last thing we need is the total wattage. So let's see, we'll do V line times I line 
times root 3. So in this case, the V line over here is 2400 volts on the line. We'll multiply it by our current 4.618. So make sure you grab the right values there. And we'll multiply that by root 3. Okay, so let's see, we've got uh, 2400. Come on. Uh, times 4.618 times the square root of 3. And that gives us 19196. Beautiful. Okay, let's just double check and make sure that we haven't messed anything up. Let's do the other calculation. Now, we haven't done this before because I like using the, uh, the line values, but let's make sure that we haven't screwed anything up and make sure that the VA values are essentially the same on the source and the load there. So our phase voltage there was 2400 volts on the phase. So you'll notice that I'm just using phase voltages and phase currents. And that's going to tell me at a glance whether I have this the, the correct values before I move on to the next question. So uh, just double check that we'll get something close to 19,196. So just to finish off, 2400. And this is just, again, just a double check. Times 2.666 times 3. And that gives us 19,195. Beautiful, okay, those guys are essentially the, ooh, easy now. Uh, those guys are essentially the same, so we're good to go. Now I know that all of my values are cool because now my wattage on the source is equal to my individual load on the back here. So looks good. We can be confident, we can move on to the next one. All right guys, keep going with the, the playlist. This was our third extra uh, three phase calc. So let's go for the fourth. The fourth is most likely gonna be uh, a Y secondary feeding a delta load.